In this figure we have a right triangle with the sides of 16 and 24 units and we need to find the area of the blue square. There are multiple methods for solving this problem and I will show you four of them. So let's start with the first one. To find the area of this square, first we need to find its side. So then, let each side of this square be equal to x. And now, if the bottom side of this triangle is 24 units and this part is x units, then this part will be 24 minus x. Similarly, if the left side of the triangle is 16 units and this part is x units, then this part will be 16 minus x. Now, let's take a look at this big triangle as well as these two smaller yellow triangles. All these triangles are similar because they have the same shape but different sizes. In similar triangles, the corresponding angles are equal. For example, this angle in the smaller triangle is equal to this angle in the larger triangle. Also, this angle is an angle of this big triangle. Similarly, this angle of the smaller triangle is equal to this angle of the larger triangle. And this is also an angle of this big triangle. Now, once we see that these triangles are similar, what else we know about similar triangles is that their corresponding sides are proportional. This means that we can take any two of these three triangles and write a proportion using their corresponding sides. For example, let's use the small triangle with the left side of 16 minus x and the bottom side x and this large triangle with the left side of 16 and the bottom side of 24. Then in the proportion we can write that the left side of the small triangle which is 16 minus x divided by the left side of the large triangle which is 16 is the same as the bottom side of the small triangle, which is x, divided by the bottom side of the large triangle, which is 24. To solve this problem, we will use cross multiplying and we will multiply 16 minus x by 24 and 16 by x. Then we will have 24 multiplied by 16 minus x equals 16 times x. On the left side we will use distributive property and we will have 384 minus 24x equals 16x. From here we will add 24x to both sides and we will have 384 equals 16x plus 24x. Then 384 equals 40x. And now from here, if we divide both sides by 40, we will get that x equals 384 divided by 40, which reduces to 48 over 5 or 9.6. And now once we know that one side of the square is 9.6 units, we can find the area by raising 9.6 to the second power. Then area equals 9.6 to the second power, which makes 92.16 square units. So this was the first method, and now let's see the second one. With this method, to find the area of this square, we can find the area of the large triangle and subtract the areas of these two smaller triangles. And to find the areas of these triangles, we will use the formula a equals one half times base and times height. Then we can write that the area of the square, which is x squared, equals the area of the large triangle, which is one half multiplied by the base, which is 24, and multiplied by the height, which is 16. So again, the area of the large triangle is one half multiplied by 24 and multiplied by 16 and now we need to subtract the areas of the two smaller triangles. The area of this top triangle is 1 half multiplied by x and multiplied by 16 minus x and the area of this triangle is 1 half 
multiplied by 24 minus x and multiplied by x. So again, we will subtract 1 half times x times 16 minus x and minus 1 half times 24 minus x times x. Now to solve this equation, first we will multiply both sides by 2 to eliminate these fractions. So we will multiply the left side by 2 and the right side by 2. Notice that in parentheses we have three terms and if we use distributive property to multiply each one by 2, then each of these fractions will be gone. Then on the left side we will have 2x squared and on the right side 24 times 16 is 384. Then we will remove the parentheses by multiplying negative x by 16 minus x and this will give us negative 16x plus x squared. And if we remove the last set of parentheses, then we will have negative 24x plus x squared. Now, if on the right side we will combine the like terms, then we will have 384 minus 40x plus 2x squared. And now we see the same term on both sides and we will cancel it. And if we add 40x to both sides, then we will get the following. 40x equals 384. Then if we divide both sides by 40, then we will get that x equals 384 over 40, which reduces to 48 over 5 or 9.6. So we found one side of the square and now to find the area we will raise 9.6 to the second power and we will get 92.16 square units. So this was method 2 and now let's move to method 3. With this method we will draw a diagonal of this square by connecting these two points. Then this diagonal divides this large triangle into two smaller triangles. We will call one of these triangles A, B, C and the other one A, C, D. Then the area of the triangle A, B, C will be one half multiplied by the base 24 and multiplied by the height x. So again, area of A, B, C equals one half times 24 times x which makes 12x. Now in the triangle ACD we can say that the base is 16 and the height is x. Then the area of ACD equals 1 half times 16 times x which makes 8x. And now if we look at the large triangle ABD, then the area is 1 half multiplied by 24 and multiplied by 16. So the area of ABD equals 1 half times 24 and times 16, which makes 192. And now if we add the areas of the triangles ABC and ACD, we will get the area of the triangle ABD. That is 12x plus 8x equals 192. 12x plus 8x makes 20x and 20x equals 192. Then if we divide both sides by 20, x will be equal to 192 over 20 and this reduces to 48 over 5, which is 9.6. So we found x, and now the area equals 9.6 squared, which equals to 92.16. So far we used three methods, and each one gave us the same result. Now let's see one more method. With method 4, we will use coordinate geometry. As you see, we have the rectangular coordinate system and this point is at the origin. 
then this point is 24 units to the right on the x-axis and this one is 16 units up on the y-axis. We will start by writing the equation of the line that passes through the hypotenuse of this triangle. And for this, we will use the slope intercept form y equals mx plus b. In this form, m represents the slope of the line and b represents the y intercept. To find the slope, we will use these two points, and because the slope is rise over run, if we start with this point, then we move down 16 units, and this means that the rise is negative 16. Then we move 24 units to the right, and that will be the run. So then, the slope equals rise over run, and the rise is negative 16, and the run is 24. Then this fraction reduces to negative 2 over 3. So we found the slope, and it is negative 2 over 3, and the y-intercept is 16, because this is the point where this line crosses the y-axis. Then the equation of the line is y equals negative 2 over 3 x plus 16. So again, this is the equation of this line, and at this point, both x and y are the same. As you see, we look at this point because we want to find the value of x. So if at this point both x and y are the same, then in this equation I can replace this y with x. Then we will have x equals negative 2 over 3 x plus 16. Now we have an equation that has only one variable and we can solve it for x. In the first step we will multiply both sides by 3 to eliminate the fraction. Then on the left side we will have 3x and on the right side we will use distributive property and we will have negative 2x plus 48. From here if we add 2x to both sides then we will get 5x equals 48 and if we divide both sides by 5 we will get that x equals 48 over 5 which is 9.6. And now once we found x then to find the area of the square we will raise 9.6 to the second power and we will get 92.16 square units. So here we solved the same problem using four different methods and I hope you enjoyed each one of them. Please leave a comment and let me know what method you liked the most or if you found any other methods of solving this problem. Please subscribe and thank you for watching.